Hi, this is Charity Lowe here with Da Vinci Eye, and today I am going to be drawing a custom portrait of a dog and his owner. So let's get started. These are the tools that I'm going to be using. So I have four different drawing pencils. One's an 8B, 4B, HB, and 4H. And then I have my black watercolor pencil, my three mechanical erasers of different sizes, a paintbrush and my needle eraser. And then I'm also going to be using just toilet paper for blending. You can also use like tissue paper or paper towel, it'll do the same thing. And then just a glass of water. This is 11 by 14 inch drawing. So I will not be using Chromecaster to mark out the layout. Prior to this video, I have already placed the image where I want it in comparison to the paper that I'll be drawing on. So I'm in breakdown mode and I'm making sure there's five different steps. This is because I have four different graphite pencils and I want the fifth step to be left blank. Now I'm zooming in so I can focus on one section at a time. I'll be going from darkest to lightest, but it doesn't matter which order you go in as long as you use the correct pencil for the correct step. The darkest step would be the 8B, the second one will be the 4B, the middle one will be the HB, and the light one will be the 4H, and the white will be left blank. As I'm shading these areas, I am putting light pressure using only the side of the pencil, not the tip. This will make it easier for blending. If you do use the tip, it will be harder to blend and you might end up with having some permanent lines. This is a very time consuming process, so be patient with yourself. This took me hours to complete, but it was worth every minute of it. Now I'm just taking some toilet paper to blend it out. I am going from the lighter areas to the darker areas. Now I'm going into breakdown mode and I'm going to turn it off and then on again, increasing the steps to its fullest and then increasing the exposure. This will allow me to find the darkest areas of the drawing. This is where I use my black watercolor pencil and I just color in those red areas. Now I'm going into breakdown mode again, turning it off and then on again, this time just decreasing the exposure. This way I can find the lightest areas and I am going to be erasing those areas. I'm zooming out so I can see the whole picture. This way I'll be able to see all the whitest areas. And I'm searching for the lightest areas by going from the lighter to the darker. And as soon as I start seeing red, that's where I'll stop and start erasing. So now I turned off breakdown mode and then increased the opacity to the fullest and I'm going to strobe 
and I'm turning that on. This will allow me to see what I've drawn compared to the original photograph. And I'm trying to make my drawing look identical to the original photograph. When I am drawing the dog, I draw in the direction of where the fur is going. This will give it the desired texture and make it actually look like fur. And for the sky, I'm just using the side of the pencil, drawing in circular motions because it's more of a soft transition from darker and lighter areas. So this pretty much ends my first part of this video. So if you want to see the second video, please like and subscribe so you can be notified when it comes out. If you have any general questions about the app, you can contact the creators at info at davinciiapp.com or if you have any requests for future videos, you can contact me directly on my Facebook or Instagram at Charity Lowe's Art. I hope this video was useful to you. Keep on creating and I'll see you guys soon.